Okie dokie, so this is looking pretty good. We have our site almost pretty much done. We've got all our parallaxes, tabs, pictures, forms, footer, navbar. Now I just want to return to the navbar up here because I'd like to place some social icons up there. And for that, we're going to use Font Awesome in a minute, finally. And I'd also want to take this opportunity to tell you about tooltips and how we can use those in Materialize as well. But first of all, let's just place those icons up at the top right over here. So to do that, we need to go back to our header and our nav bar right here. And the first thing I'd like to do is go to this thing over here, this section where we output all of our links for the desktop. And underneath that, I'd like to create a new LI because we're going to have an LI tag for each new icon. And inside this, we need an anchor tag and that will go nowhere, but we'll also apply a few classes to this as well. So the first class I'm going to give this is BTN hyphen floating. So a small round button. And then I'm going to say BTN hyphen small to make that small button. Then we'll give this an indigo background. And we're also going to darken that background by full. Now inside here, we want to place our icon. And for this, we're going to use font awesome. So it's similar to material icons in that we still use an eye tag, but this time we give this a class of fab and also a class of FA hyphen Instagram, because this is going to be an Instagram icon. If we wanted this to be Facebook, it would be FA Facebook or whatever icon that we want. FA for font awesome hyphen the icon name. All right. So then if we save this now and view it in a browser, then we should see that little icon right there. And that was pretty good, right? So now let's do the other icons. I'm going to copy this dude and paste it down here a couple more times. And we'll scoot that back along like so. Okay. And the next one we want is going to be, I don't know, Facebook. And then finally, we'll do Twitter. Okay, so FA Facebook, FA Twitter. And if we preview, we can see all of those three lined up right there. So that's looking pretty good, right? Now, I said I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about tooltips. So a tooltip is when you hover over something and then a little bubble appears either above or below or to the left or right of it with a little bit of information about what it is you're hovering over. Sometimes you see this on question marks or help buttons on forms to tell you what a particular input field is about. But in this case, we're going to do it on these icons right here, just in case people don't know what Instagram is or Facebook or Twitter. Hey, it happens. So let's do little tool tips for each one of these. So the first step is to apply a class to whatever we want to give a tool tip of tool tipped. Now we want to apply that class to these anchor tags right here. So when someone hovers over the anchor tag, then we get that tool tip. So tool tipped like so and we'll do the same down here tool tipped probably should have just copied and pasted this but hey ho there we go so each one of those has that class the next thing we want to do is give this a data hyphen tooltip property and basically this will be the information that pops up in a bubble when someone hovers over it so for this i could just say instagram so if someone doesn't know what the icon means, they can hover over it and they'll see this tooltip pop up that says Instagram or this is Instagram to make it more obvious. OK, so let's do the same one for the others. We'll say data hyphen and then tooltip and set that equal to this is Facebook. And then finally, we'll do the last one down here. So data hyphen tool tip and set that equal to this is and what was it Twitter okay so save that now if we try this out doesn't work and again it's just because we have to initialize this inside the jQuery at the bottom so let's scoot right down to the bottom might get there eventually and where we see all of this underneath we'll look for our tool tipped class over there remember to put those in quotes don't forget that and then dot tool tip like so all right so save that and cross your fingers 
hope this works. There we go. This is Instagram. This is Facebook. This is Twitter. So there we go, my friends. That's how we place these social icons using Font Awesome. And that's also how we create tooltips like so. And if I zoom in, you should see that a bit better. All right, cool.